hey guys, welcome back to this Grandma 3 tutorial series. Today's tutorial is probably one of the few topics that I'm the most excited for. We're finally going to dive into recipes, specifically in queues. We last learned how to store sequences and queues and assign them to playbacks. Many of the general uses of recipes in queues is the same, but with much more backend functionality and customization. To get started, let's make sure our selection is clear and then store an empty queue directly to a playback. We'll click on the new playback to open the edit settings. Right now, the recipes section is not shown. To view the recipes section, we will need to click on the sequence sheet settings button at the top left of the window. Let's click on the mask button along the top ribbon and then press the show recipes button in the second column. After exiting out of the settings window, we can see that there is now a new section below the queue stack. This is where recipes are created and edited in sequences. To begin creating a recipe, let's first select the queue we want information to be stored in. We'll right click on new recipe and begin making our selections. I want to make a recipe that will bring our spots to full, fade into a position, and set their color to blue. I'll start by right clicking in the box under selections and choose our spot group. Next, I'll right click in the box under values and select the dipper pool item followed by our full preset. Great, we've now made our first recipe line. We'll continue by right clicking on new recipe two more times. Let's now select both the second and third recipe lines selection column. Knowing that we want these lines to affect the same group, we can save time by applying the spots group to both lines at the same time. In the second line values box, let's select our spot low wide position preset and in our third line values box, our blue color preset. The last thing I want is a fade on the dimmer and position recipe lines. If we look at the columns to the right, we can add matrix information in two different ways. The first way is by selecting a matrix from your matrix pool, which will be shown in a future video. The second way is by manually inputting matrix values into the recipe lines. For this tutorial, we will manually enter a fade time on the dimmer and position selections. To do so, we will select the Fade from X boxes for the first two recipe lines, right click, and enter 1. We can enter the same value in the Fade to X boxes. That completes this key recipe. Before we exit the sequence editor, let's have a quick look at what information is being shown in the queue stack. The first thing you might notice is that the queue has named itself Full Spot Low Wide Blue inside of brackets. That is because the queue will attempt to summarize the values that are being referenced in the recipe. The second thing we might notice is the small pot icon to the right of the queue name. That icon tells us that there are one or more recipes inside of this specific queue. Another icon we see is this thin green bar, which tells us there is matrix information stored inside the queue. The last icon we see is the thin cyan bar above the small pot icon. Like the queues in the last video, this tells us that the stored values are referenced from presets, not hard values stored directly in the queue. Let's exit the sequence editor and test our new playback. As we can see, the playback works just like any other playback, so that might leave you asking, what is the point of using a recipe? One of the greatest advantages is that recipes auto-update as you make changes. As an example, let's say I only want the flown spots to be in the spot group because I plan to use the ground spots in a different group. To remove them, I will type in their fixture IDs, then, using the swipey feature, select store and then remove. Immediately, we can see that the ground spots were taken out of the live sequence. Let's clear our selection and then modify the color preset. Let's switch to the light blue channel set on the first color wheel, Select Open on the second color wheel, store and merge in our blue color preset, and then clear our selection. The recipe line that references our color preset has automatically updated the output to our newly stored color. One quick note about recipes is that while they do auto-update most of the time, there are some very specific instances when you have to force an update. That method is called cooking, which we'll dive into in a future video. For now, however, simple queue recipes like this can be easily built and played back for the vast majority of your programming needs. 
As always, let's clear our selection and remember to save our show file.